Don't be lazy. Don't be stupid. Do the work that's required to learn the business, to understand the business, and to see where opportunities lie. You know, it occurred to me, if you're a owner operator running under your own authority or, or you're a small fleet owner, each and every one of these trucks you see on the road is your competition. If they want to haul freight for a dollar and a quarter a mile, a dollar fifty a mile, a dollar eighty a mile, let them. Why stop your competition from killing themselves? If they want to do that, they'll starve to death. You've heard the, the old expression, only the strong survive. In this industry, like in most industries, only the strong and the smart survive. And what I mean by that is that most people are too stupid or too lazy. And when I say too stupid or too lazy, they're not willing to take the time to learn the industry and, and, and know the industry. They're not willing to take the time to put in the work and do the homework. You have to know what it costs you, whether you own a restaurant, whether you own an auto parts store, whether you own a trucking company, with one truck or a hundred trucks. You have to know what it costs you every single day in fixed expenses to operate that. Yes, there are going to be some variables in this business like the cost of fuel is always changing. Your maintenance, that cost is going to rely in great part on how well you maintain your equipment. But your fixed expenses your truck payments, your insurance, you know, what, what does it cost you in labor? What are you going to pay yourself in labor to drive that truck? I mean, because you're not doing it for free. So if your competition wants to go out and run these roads, run the wheels off of their truck and do it for nothing, let them go for it. You need to be the smart ones. You need to know what your costs are. What does it cost you to put that key in the ignition and start that engine every single day? You need to know what your bottom line is. I cannot haul a load for less than blank and be able to be profitable. And when I say be profitable, you need to be able to cover all of your operating expenses you need to pay yourself a decent wage and you still need to turn a profit for your company otherwise you're just out here working for wages you're not growing your business every business out here whether it's trucking or truck stops or gas stations or whatever you have your fixed costs you have your labor expenses you have your gross profit you have your net profit you have to be able to have a profit otherwise you're just in business but you're not even making any money don't be lazy don't be stupid do the work that's required to learn the business to understand the business and to see where opportunities lie I would strongly suggest that no one ever haul a single load for less than $3 a mile ever again. Yeah, I know some people think I'm crazy. But you have to be able to be profitable. If a broker tells you, well, you know, yeah, the 15 day average is X, but you know that was factoring in holidays and all of this now it's more like why don't believe them you know what you have to have in order to be profitable in order to 
meet your expenses, pay yourself a, a living wage, and be able to make a profit. Don't let them or anyone convince you to do something that's going to be detrimental to your business. Always make your own decisions. Never let brokers or anybody else influence your decisions. They're not the ones living your life. They're not the ones that have the overhead that you have. You know, they're not the ones out here doing it every day. They're going home every day when they get off work. I hate to hear people talking about how they wish they would have done this, they wish they would have done that. I shouldn't have taken this load. I took that load too cheap. You have to know what your costs are and that has to be in the forefront of your mind whenever you put a bid on a load. Stick by your guns, know what it costs you. And please, always be profitable and be safe. See you next time.